Bren, did you see that I got a retweet from Sharon Draper and I got a retweet from Catherine Applegate? So what if you got retweeted? You got what, like three more followers on Twitter because of that? And eight people watched your video and probably didn't like it anyway? Whatever. Yo, why are you such a hater? I'm not a hater. You're just terrible at making videos, you overrated hack. Um, I also got a retweet and a comment from Platt Clark, the author of Bad Unicorn, so, um, who's the man, Brenda? Who's the man? You think you're good at this stuff, you're not good at anything. I'll show you what hell it is. Just no, Brenda, I'm tired of this, okay? No more. Look. You'll see what I'm capable of. You see this? This is your new home. No! No! I can't breathe! Yeah! Enjoy! Ha! 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 Help me! Mitch, relax! It's just a bowl! It's, it's, it's not doing anything to her, Mitch! She's already in a bowl! Stop being dramatic, Brenda! Mitch! It's not doing anything! Mitch, relax! It's just a bowl on top of a bowl! She's fine! She can breathe! You're like a real housewife in New Jersey! Calm down! Yeah! Yeah! No one is dramatic! Yeah, I'm dramatic. I'm not the dramatic one. You're the dramatic one. You're the one stuck in another bowl and you're acting like you're not gonna make it. Relax. Hey, Principal Fitzgerald. How are you doing, sir? Pretend I'm not even here. Brenda, I think he's here for one of those observations. <laughs> you're gonna get fired. Just act natural. I call it dibs on all those domos when you're gone. Don't worry, Brenda, I got this. So for today's episode of Whoa, I want to read that. Let's refer to today's learning scale. How well can you understand the awesomeness of Ungifted by Gordon Corman? Are you a four? You totally understand. And whoa, you want to read that? Are you a three? You mostly understand how awesome it is? Maybe you're a two. You need some help understanding how awesome the book is. Or maybe you're one. Wait! Why should I read this? I need an adult! First of all, I want to say thank you to my student, Justin, whom I call Just Incredible, for donating a copy of this book to the class library. There you go, man. This is an exact picture of what exactly he looks like. Now you're on the internet. Way to go, buddy. Ungifted is a book about this kid named Donovan, who's like the classic class clown of any school. Your school has him. He's probably sitting over there, or she's sitting over there, or, you know. Maybe you're Brenda. Gross. However, in Gordon Corman's book, the class clown has had their world turned upside down. After an error in administration. I mean, not that the administration ever makes mistakes. I mean, they don't. I mean, nobody's perfect, right? Smooth. Shh. Donovan ends up at a school for smarty pants kids. One of those gifted and talented programs. They have their own school for them and it's called the Academy of Scholastic Distinction. Now in this school, you learn that Donovan is obviously different from everybody. Donovan learns that while his IQ is not as high as his classmates, he brings a different kind of gifted and talented to these smarty pants kids that they haven't really exactly experienced before. Something we call street smarts. His ability to have fun and use these street smarts is kind of what makes him gifted and talented after all. Now all the while, Donovan is kind of hiding from the superintendent of the district who wants to get Donovan in trouble because Donovan kind of broke a statue of Atlas holding the globe, he smacked him on the butt, and then the globe went rolling, 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 rolling down a hill and crashed into the gym. So he's kind of hiding out of the school and the superintendent has no idea because it's his fault, superintendents, that Donovan is, is currently at this Smarty Pants school. So if you're a fan of realistic fiction, if you're a fan of humor, if you're a fan of reruns of Saved by the Bell, the show on TBS at like 3 in the morning. If you're a fan of awesome scenes about robots destroying each other, I think you'd really like Ungifted. Why would you ever want to re-gift Ungifted, am I right? Ram, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, so, from 1 to 4, uh, how do you guys feel about the book, based on the scale? 5. Thank you, Mr. Wasco. Oh, he's gone. How do you think that went, brother? I lied. I'm more like a two. <laughs> that was the worst review yet. Sometimes I'm jealous. Sometimes I'm jealous. Sometimes I'm jealous.
So, Savasco, your post observation. Do I do okay? Well, you used the scale. It was really, really effective. You were able to put everything in 4 3 2 1 format. I'm really impressed with you, Mr. Wasco. <sighs> oh. oh, that's good to hear. How was the review, though? Like, did you did, did I do a good job with the book review? I mean, did you like that? You really used the scale. That's really all I was looking for. That's fair, you're right. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye.